Hi business crew, I'm just going for a walk to the supermarket, I'm still here in Poland on vacation enjoying the beautiful warm and sunny weather which is in contrast to the miserable grey cold yucky weather that we've got in Melbourne at the moment. Anyway, time to talk business. Um, I've just been thinking, I've been doing a lot of filming since I got my camera, my action camera, and I really, really love the action camera, and I really love the filming, even though it's something that I've never been into in the past. I, I <coughs> sorry, I've never been into taking photographs or filming, just not my cup of tea for some reason, I don't know why. Um, you know, I'm happy to make websites, I'm happy to do graphics and art and design, I can do public speaking and, you know, do deals, whatever, but just, I was never into filming um, or taking photos, just, yeah, even when I was going on holidays or whatever, I just, you know, but I've been thinking and I've come to the conclusion that I think filming is the next dimension in business now what I mean by that is if you go back you know a couple of decades you had your normal business and then you know just advertised using traditional advertising methods and that obviously worked that's what everyone did then we had the 90s then we had the internet revolution and that created a completely new dimension which meant that well didn't mean but it introduced websites and domain names and then later on we had social media so that's all kind of linked together with uh, the internet revolution okay so now today I mean as I mentioned in an earlier discussion that we had uh, the need for having a website that like just just common stuff you know um, everyone pretty much has to have that but I've been thinking that with the with the opportunities that are out there and the improvements in technology I think the action camera or even the iPhone like even sorry iPhone whatever I actually don't like the iPhone I think it's one big I think it's one big wank to be honest I mean I know what Apple's doing they're basically marketing um, and and they're using they're using marketing to uh, you know to market their products particularly well and just suckering people who fall for the marketing but that's a different that's a different issue it basically look my opinion is I think it's one big wank and um, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole but uh, mobile phone smartphones they're offering really good technology when it comes to filming it's nice and easy you can make really good photos when you're filming action cameras the action camera which I've got which I'm really 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 happy with I only paid 150 or 160 dollars for it last year so that's really you know it's really good price for you know for all the different features that it can do uh, yeah just really great but so not only is it quite cheap and, and easy to make good quality films now but I think it also it also adds a lot to your business it can add a lot to your business particularly with the supporting technology like you've got YouTube uh, you've got Facebook and you've got other social media which actually allows uh, movies to be made and, and uploaded so I mean increasingly noticing that making movies provides an extra dimension where you can stand out from your competition now for me personally with my touring business I mean making movies that's just obvious so if you're into travel obviously that is going to be obvious I guess if you're into real estate that's another one um, if you're a real estate agent again traditionally you'd take photos of properties but now why take photos when you can also make a movie and actually get the person in particularly the property is really really good you can really provide more for that but if you if you're a service provider if you do fingernails or if you're running a nightclub or anything like that 
um, taking movies of your actual services is, is going to give you that extra dimension which will provide people more oh, what's the word they'll, they'll get to feel your business more and not only that but it'll provide you additional exposure and it'll also help you to provide your business better particularly if the quality of your business is really really good like imagine that you know you're a hairdresser or you, you, you're um, you do manicures or pedicures really well um, you'd want to promote that and what you can do is you can you know you can just film it rather than have you know before and after photos which obviously most people would do but you can also film the process what you can explain things so like I said it, it provides that extra dimension which not only differentiates you from your competitors but it also provides customers or potential customers an, an additional dimension through sight sound you know movement and they can actually see they can almost like being there you know um, and that'll provide um, more information like I said it works particularly well if you really if you have a really good product like imagine that you're a hotelier and you've got a hotel photos are great I mean I know that you know that that's pretty obvious but I mean, we both know, or both know, yeah, we know that if you film, if you go through the, if you go through the different rooms, you know, it, it just provides just better. Or maybe if there's a spa or sauna or really, really good garden. I mean, that, 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 the camera is obviously going to provide more information and it's going to give, it's going to be more realistic than, than photos. So that's just, yeah, I've been thinking about that and that's just what I wanted to, to tell you. Now, I'm, I'm just approaching the supermarkets. I'll stop filming now but uh, yeah to conclude what am I trying to say I'm trying to say basically get a camera use it and uh, use it somewhere uh, in your business I think you're gonna do pretty well if you do that welcome back business crew I've just finished my shopping before I started my shopping I discussed videotaping and uh, cameras and making movies as an additional dimension uh, for business. Now, what I'm going to do as part of the DIY part of the business crew, which is do it yourself, um, I'll show you in another movie, in a DIY movie, um, how to actually edit movies. That's actually very, very important. Now, the good news is that I'm not a professional movie editor, I'm not a professional cameraman, I haven't, I've never done a, a course in movie editing or anything like that. So why is that good news? Well that's good news because probably most of you aren't experts in movie editing either. Which means the stuff that I will be showing you is going to be the stuff that uh, you should be able to learn just like I learned too. So I'm not going to go into high-tech detail and um, well because I don't know it. I don't know the stuff well enough, but I think the I think the level of movie editing that I'm that I do should should be adequate for most people. So Hang on, just, I just have to cross the road here. Yeah, so I'm going to be showing it to you uh, how, do you, how to use the movie editing programs the way that I taught myself. Um, and I'll show you the level um, that's appropriate for normal people, you know. Um, unless you, unless you, you want to run a business that's uh, a movie editing business. Well, in that case, obviously, you need to be much more advanced with what I'm going to show you. So that's going to be in another uh, video uh, coming up in the DIY section. Anyway, what I wanted to discuss with you uh, this time around is a follow-up to what we discussed before and that is uh, to give you a bit, little bit of advice in terms of what type of cameras are appropriate. I'm not going to discuss smartphones because I don't actually know how to use this, all the features of a smartphone. I only use the basics like, you know, well, to, to, to call somebody, to answer calls, you know, for uh, the alarm now and then and just, you know, stuff like that. It's really simple stuff. I don't use it to film 
um, I've got my uh, digital camera for that. Now, I'm really happy with the digital camera. About a year and a half ago, I knew nothing about digital cameras. I knew about the GoPro, that's obviously well marketed, that's the market leader. Um, but since I decided that, look, I need a camera, a good camera for filming, I, uh, I did quite a bit of research on the topic. Whilst I do still agree that GoPro is the market leader, um, it's very expensive. The camera that I got after doing a lot of research, like I'm talking about a month's worth of research, without being uh, biased in any way, because I, I had, I mean, like I said, I knew nothing about cameras anyway. I just knew that the GoPro was the leader, that's it. Now, uh, whether some cameras were good or not, I, I just didn't know. I didn't even know what was out there. So, having little knowledge, doing a lot of research, I came up with the brand Andoa, which is not available in Australia. I had to import it from overseas. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm very, very happy with this brand, um, and they make really good cameras. But there are certain features, I find, that are very important in a, a, a uh, action camera. Now, why action cameras? Well, because they're really good. They're, they're very small, okay? So, they're very versatile. You can do a lot with them. You can hold them like I'm holding it now. Um, you can, um, you know, you can put it on your head, you can put it on your, on your waist, you can put it on your chest, you can put it on your helmet, you can put it on your car. You can do all sorts of things. You can put it in the car and film. You can do a lot with it that you can't do with a traditional digital camera uh, or that you can't do with a, with a smartphone because the smartphone is not made for, for filming. Okay. Uh, it's made for making phone calls. Whereas a, a, an action camera is actually made for, for action stuff. So that's actually very important because, it, because the versatility um, is suitable for, for most people and their needs. What I mean is for most businesses. Now imagine that, you, now imagine that you're thinking of doing um, like adventure tour business where you're doing, you're riding, I don't know, say you're riding in a dirt bike somewhere and you, you, you've got a, uh, you're organizing dirt bike tours or mountain bike tours or, or you know, jet ski tours or something like that. So you can imagine um, how important it would be to have a really good camera where you can actually film the action and get your passengers or the potential customers to basically you know to be on board uh, with you when you do that it's going to add like i said before an extra dimension which you, which you can't really do with it with a, a smartphone and so forth um you know if you're riding a motorbike you're doing motorbike tours you put it on your head um and so forth so so very very good now Going back to what I said before, what are the key things that you need to look for? Image stabilization. I find that to be very, very important, okay? Because unless, unless you're doing something very, very precise, like if you're a jeweler and you want to do some training programs um, or you want to show, you need to show cast some of the jewelry that you've got on offer where you need to get a really close up view and obviously there's not much movement there, well then image stabilization is not going to be needed. But even look at me now, like I'm obviously walking and as I'm walking, you know, I'm sort of, I'm, there's movement, there's quite a bit of movement actually, as, you know, I'm making, doing, you know, making steps and so forth. Image stabilization actually stabilizes that. So that makes the quality of the video automatically really good. If you're doing dirt bikes, riding, or this, the really hardcore stuff that I was talking to before, where there's a lot of speed involved, well, you can imagine image stabilization is like particularly good. So that's something that's very, very important. Um, now, not all cameras have got that, so that's something that you need to, to look for. Um, another thing which I also find uh, find to be quite important is uh, to have to, for the camera to make good quality photos because in some cases you may want to take a photo of you know the, the after effect um, so once again we could be talking about a, a hairdresser or a beautician um, who's taking a movie of you know how she's doing her um, you know her her wellness or whatever you, you want to call it and then at the end you know she's making a photo of her really very happy customer or a before and after so you want a really good photo um you want a, a camera that has pretty good battery life unfortunately action cameras got really poor battery life about an hour and a half which for my in most cases i mean you don't you don't really need much more you know um 
because yeah action usually uh, doesn't last for too long so once again with whether it's a jeweler whether whether you're doing um jet ski tours or motorbikes or mountain bikes whatever yeah i can't see doing that for five hours in a row um you're a beautician you know so you'll be filming for about half an hour 15 minutes one hour so that'll be more than enough um obviously the quality of the the footage um now 4k is the highest that's on offer at the moment now i actually find 4k although in theory 4k sounds really really good and it is i know believe me but in, in when it comes to the practice it's a real pain even though i've got 4k in my camera the uploading i mean how much how much a hard drive space it takes is just ridiculous so unless you make very short movies like once again imagine it, that would be that would be more appropriate by the way i'm i'm home now so i just stop here um unless you're a jeweler you might be a jeweler right um, you know who's who's taking movies and just showing you his jewelry and giving close-ups and all that which might go for about half a minute or oh, 4k is perfect but if you're doing a mountain bike um, you know you, you want to give your potential customers uh, an inside view of uh, you know a mountain bike tour where you're riding the mountain bike through you know through bush and or forest whatever you know jumping and stuff like that and that will take 15 minutes 20 minutes a half an hour oh man if you're doing it in 4k you got problems because you're going to need a really really fast processor in, in the computer and um and you're going to need a heap of hard drive space and it's going to take you ages to upload it uh, to a place like youtube so with 4k mm, i'm a little bit you know a little bit hesitant about that most cameras are 4k now, but I think in reality yeah i don't know if too many people are going to use it to be honest um look just to summarize look they're probably the main things image stabilization is very very important 4k most cameras have it but if it doesn't look don't worry about it because most probably you won't use it um uh high frame rate is actually quite good if it's got a high frame rate because what you can do is you can actually slow things down so you can do you can do slow motion effects and so forth so so look, there's not really that much to it um, the the action camera will come with a photo camera in it usually if the quality obviously varies I'm really happy with my Andoa GoPro is the market leader but put it this way just to summarize the Andoa brand um, it is it is not as good as the GoPro it is about 90% of the GoPro in terms of the features quality and so forth but it's about 40% of the 30% 30 to 40% of the price so being economically minded I'm really happy with that decision so whilst you might say oh my camera's better yeah it is I agree with you your GoPro might be better but I got a real I got a you know better deal than you did so I'm so that that's quite important and again look I'm not a professional anyway you know um, so yeah so if you've got any comments or if you have any feedback um, about what I've just said look post it down in the comment section below um, it is now I think it's about 21st of July uh, 2018 technology keeps you know improving all the time so by the time you watch it perhaps in 19 2019 it'll be different ball games there'll be different cameras out there there'll be different quality who knows what's going to happen then but the main thing is um look do your research i know a little bit about it. if you have any questions ask me some questions about it um and um and wait for the video where i actually show you how to do a bit of uh, movie editing that that should be quite interesting and um and that'll get you really up and up and running